Do you know what Telegram is? Do you use it often? So these tricks, 13 to be exact, will probably help you. Hey guys, this is Salim and let's begin. So the first feature on this list is managing your download media on Telegram. So we all know that we can send and receive files in Telegram up to 1.5 gigabytes in size. But let's say we don't have storage to store that media. So we can turn this feature off. Just swipe right, go to settings, click on data and storage. And under that auto download feature, you can just choose what to download when on Wi-Fi and what to download when on mobile data. So you see, it saves your precious data as well as your storage. Pretty neat feature by Telegram. The second feature here are secret chats. So let's say you are super crazy about your privacy. I guess who oh, isn't super crazy about your privacy. So you just want to have no trace of the messages you are sending to a particular person. So in Telegram, they have a feature known as secret chats, which ensures that the message you send are only between you and the recipient. No one else is able to read it. They use end-to-end -end encryption, which WhatsApp uses, but it came to Telegram earlier. Now, how to do that? The first way is clicking the new message icon on the bottom right of the screen and selecting new secret chat and selecting the contact and just using secret chat. Second way is swiping right, clicking on new secret chat and selecting contact and using secret chat. Pretty neat feature by Telegram. The third feature here is self-destruct time. It's related to secret chat and it works only in secret chat. Uh, it's a bit like Snapchat in which you send a message and after the recipient views that message, it deletes after a certain period of time. So in Telegram, it's the same. You open a secret chat. Uh, if you don't know, just rewind the video. You know how to open a secret chat. Now on the top right of the screen, there will be three dots. Click on it. There's a self-destruction timer. So you can set it to three seconds, five, seven. So let's say I sent you a picture a personal picture. Now, after three seconds, I have set the timer to three seconds. So after three seconds, it will just vanish from both of ends. Pretty neat and cool feature by Telegram. The fourth feature here is hiding your last scene from contacts. I know you'll say, we can do that in WhatsApp, no big deal, but there's a but. You can do that for particular contacts. So instead of seeing the particular time that you were last seen, they'll see last seen recently, last seen within a week, last seen within a month. So no more annoying contacts. So how to do that? Just swipe right, click on settings, click on privacy and security. Under last, last scene, you can choose it for everybody, nobody and my contacts. I guess same three things are on WhatsApp as well, but there's an extra feature adding exceptions. So you can click on it, select a contact and instead of particular time, We'll see last seen recently, within a week, within a month, etc. Moving on, the fifth feature here is locking your chats. So this is like locking your telegram. So as soon as you click on telegram, it will ask for a code or a fing or fingerprint. If your device has a fingerprint sensor, yes. Now how to do it? Swipe right, click on settings, click on privacy and security, click on password lock. Now turn it on, you'll be asked to set a passcode and then you can also enable fingerprint if your device has a fingerprint sensor. I guess if you're using your devices now, now almost every device out there has a fingerprint scanner. This will not only lock your chats, but you can also set a certain timer for it. So after a certain time, the chats will lock again. So pretty customizable feature by Telegram. The sixth feature here is turning off message preview. Now message preview are very useful as they appear on the lock screen and notification screen. You don't have to unlock your phone or go into the messaging application. Just see the notification, the message and reply to it accordingly. If it's urgent, you can reply to it now. And if it's not that urgent, you can wait for a few minutes, few hours and reply then. Now let's see a different scenario. Let's say someone is using a phone or someone is near your phone and is just peeping in what you are doing on your phone. Now this feature is pretty much useful because let's say a certain loved one gives, sends you a message and you don't want anyone to see it. So by turning off message preview, the message won't be visible on your lock screen as well as your notification shape. So pretty cool feature by Telegram. Now you can do this on Android, but it's a pretty cumbersome process. And what if you can do it for a single app and it's pretty straightforward. So now let's see how to do it. Just swipe right, click on settings, click on notification and the sound and turn off message preview. That's it. 
it starts him. Okay, the seventh one on this list is avoid being added to unknown groups or channels. So you just wake up and out of the blue you are you are just seeing that you are being added to 10 groups. Now this is pretty annoying. Of course you can go on the group and leave it, but I've got a better option. In Telegram, you can specify the people who can't add you to groups and who can add you to groups. Now how to do it? Just swipe right, go to settings, go to privacy and security and under groups you can choose who all can add you to groups. You can choose everybody or only your contacts. Additionally, you can specify those people who can't add you to a group. The next one is stop the auto playing of chips in Telegram. Now chips as you know it is popular in Telegram but one annoying thing about them is auto. Now in Telegram you can stop auto playing of chips. Now how to do it? Just swipe right to settings, scroll down and turn off auto playing of chips. It's that easy. The next feature, probably the best feature in my opinion is editing of sent text messages by Telegram. Has it ever happened to you that you sent a text and then regretted it because it has a typo or autocorrect has changed the meaning of the sentence entirely? In Telegram, you can edit the sent text messages. That's right. Just click on the message, click on edit and just edit the sent message and send it. But one downside that I feel in my opinion is that Telegram affixes a label that says edited on the bottom of the message. The next one is added stickers. So you can add stickers in Telegram and stickers are a very fun and emotive way to express your emotions. Now how to add stickers? Just go to us, text message, hit that emoji icon, hit the sticker icon and search for the stickers that suits you. But what if someone sends you a sticker, you like it and you want the entire sticker pack to be added in your library. So just click on the sticker and just click on add to my stickers. It's that easy. The next feature, the 11th one, is sending of muted messages in Telegram. Now, how do you do it? Just tap on the mute or unmute button on the chat in a channel. Next one is using bots. So bots are basically Telegram accounts which are specified to do certain tasks in Telegram. Like you want to search for an image, a bot is there. Search for a chef, a bot is there. Even if you want to search for a bot, a bot is there. For example, image bot helps you search the appropriate image for the keywords that you type. One more thing is poll bot. It helps you create polls. Now, how to add bots or search for bots? Just hit the new message icon on the bottom of your screen and search for the bot. If a bot is present in Telegram, it will appear. Just click on it, click on start and it will give you instructions. The great thing about bots is that you can add it to your group and it can also be shared. The 13th feature is hiding Telegram media from the gallery. So you don't want all that Telegram media clogging up your gallery. Now you can just disable them uh, so that they don't appear in your gallery but they are in your Telegram account. Pretty neat, right? How to do it? Open Telegram, click on settings, scroll down and turn off save to gallery. That's it. Now the 14th one. Oh, I said 13. But you see 13 here in India is considered unlucky. So here goes the 14th group. You can convert any group to a super group. Provided you are an admin of We all know what groups is, but Telegram has taken it up a notch. Not that iPhone notch. Level. By making users convert a normal group to a super group. Now what's a super group? In a super group, each user added will be able to access all of the previous messages of the group. And if you delete a send text message, it will delete from each and every member's device. Pretty cool, right? Now, how to do it? Go to the group header, click on the three buttons on the top right and convert to super group. You'll get a notification saying that if you're converting to a super group, you can't revert back. So you gotta make a note of that, convert to super group and boom, you're done. So yeah, these were the 13, I mean 14 tricks that will make the usage of Telegram a delight. So have I missed something? Do you know any more tricks? Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching guys. Till then, this is Sri signing off.